morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Happy Easter. I hope that you and yours had a uh, wonderful Easter celebration, albeit um, very different than years past. And I hope you had the opportunity to um, hear some good music, sing your favorite hymns, uh, and just give uh, thanks to God for the gift of resurrection that um, we believe in and that we are all anticipating. Um, this morning I just thought we'd start with a meditation before our prayers. And for our meditation I chose an old favorite, uh, Psalm 100. So I hope you will um, just kind of listen and pray along in your hearts as we continue through this Easter season. Remember, Easter is a season and not a day. So Psalm 100. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Always an old favorite, and I think I've heard it put to music several times. I hope you um, love that one as well. For our prayer time this morning, um, I'm going to use Prayers of the People, Form 6, that are found on page 392 of your prayer book. If you want to follow along, or you can just listen. Um, and we'll be in including specific prayers. In peace we pray to you, Lord God. For all people in their daily life and work. For our families, friends, and neighbors and for those who are alone. In particular, we pray for those who are essential workers and are continuing uh, to go to work each day. We pray for those who are isolated at home alone. They don't have um, a family member or anyone else living in their home with them. We pray uh, God, that your presence would be made known to them and that they would not uh, feel a sense of loneliness but feel you uplifting them throughout this time. We pray for this community, the nation, and the world. In particular, we pray for government leaders around the world as they are making difficult decisions on our behalf. They're trying to keep us safe. For the scientists, who are working to um, bring this disease to an end. We pray for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. We pray for all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. In particular, we pray specifically for those frontline workers that are known to our Trinity family. We pray for Michelle Euler, Beverly Ann St. Louis, Vic Nimmo, Brandy Bartos, Joey Lopez, Jimmy Cheek, Kendall Law, Mark Vesuvio, Robin and Brian Watson, Amelia, Josh and Adam Baddett, Sarah and Bailey Faulkner, Tori Alexander, Anna Bailey, Catherine Reinheimer, Caitlin and Ben Dolina, and Sarah Helmesy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God, for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. We 
We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, for Eugene, our bishop, for all bishops and other ministers, for all who serve God and his church. We pray for those who are figuring out how to reinvent church and take church online, for those who are working in new arenas and putting themselves out there in new and different ways, we pray your blessing upon them. For the special needs and concerns of those gathered here this morning, if you have a, a specific prayer that you would like offered, if you could just type it in the comments, more than um, be happy to pray those for you. Sean, I'm glad to see that you're feeling blessed this morning. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We thank you for your great love, for the promise of resurrection. We pray for students who are online learning everywhere, that they get the support that they need for their education. We pray for the parents who are trying to help them along the way, the teachers who are trying to teach in ways they've never had to teach before. We pray for those who are hospitalized and their families and loved ones who cannot visit them in the hospital or in rehab centers. We pray for those who are in nursing homes. We will exalt you, O God, our King, and praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, especially those who have died from this virus. Pray for those who have had to die alone because their loved ones couldn't be at their bedside during this time. We pray for those loved ones. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them who put their trust in you. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Oh, grateful Thanksgiving for your Aunt Lorraine, Chris. I'm so glad to see that she's improving. God bless you all. Hope you have a wonderful Easter tide. Frank will see you tomorrow. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs>